Robert Gouverneur first emerged um, on the art scene in New York in the mid-60s when he was actually fairly young um, in the context of a gallery called Park Place that uh, was the home to a number of artists working with geometric abstract sculptures. Grosvenor was very interested in very dynamic forms, in spatial illusionism, in making objects that were perceptually confusing. The way in which the piece changes as you move around it is the subject of this, this work. Grosvenor was very interested in how a work could engage an architectural space, a dynamic situation. The work is in dialogue with the room and with you, and those three elements are always in a kind of constant and changing interplay. One of the interesting things about this piece when you first look at it is that you almost have no idea how it's actually suspended from the ceiling. It seems as if it is practically floating in the space, and that's something that Grosvenor was very interested in. One of the ways he achieved that was actually through a very lightweight structure. He was interested in boat building, actually, and the the basic structure of this piece is made similar to a boat. It has a plywood structure covered with fiberglass and then uh, covered with this automobile lacquer, which gives it the shiny, reflective surface. This piece is made at a time when a lot of artists were beginning to explore industrial fabrication in their work, and they would in involve uh, fabricators from outside the art world. But this was not the case in this piece, actually. Grosvenor built this structure himself, and it was kind of handmade, despite the fact that it feels sort of high-tech or sci-fi. One of the really um, interesting and exciting opportunities a curator has working at a museum is to rediscover pieces that often haven't been shown for many years. I think it is one of the, the lost masterpieces of the collection that we're so pleased to present to another generation of viewers who certainly wouldn't have known it from the 60s.